Hey y'all, I'm Fran Agulto with a developer relations team here at WP Engine focused on headless WordPress. And today I'm super stoked because I'm going to discuss how to work with the Apollo client, which is the new GraphQL client library that is used in the Faust.js framework. Let's dive right in. Now I'm here in the Faust.js docs and a real quick overview for those of y'all that aren't familiar with it. Faust.js is a front end JavaScript framework built on top of Next.js created to make developing headless WordPress sites easier. Now the idea of this new version of Faust.js is to make a parity between the WordPress world that a developer might be used to, but replicate it as much as possible in the JavaScript front end world, specifically focusing on the WP templating hierarchy system. Now Faust uses Apollo now for its GraphQL client. This is a data fetching library for JavaScript that enables you to manage both local and remote data with GraphQL. It has features you can use for fetching, modifying app data and caching. Let's see how it's used in Faust. Here in the Faust docs, let's look at the example because you can use the client in your component and pages. So let's break this down and what's happening in this file. At the top of the file, as you can see there, I'm importing GraphQL and the use query hook that's coming right from Apollo right here. Then we have a default function called page that will render the title and description of the general settings from your WP GraphQL API. After passing the props into the page function, we create a variable that contains the data object that is destructured response from the use query hook provided by Apollo. This then takes page.query as a param right here. Now at the bottom of the file is our actual GraphQL query right here, which page.query is coming from as a parameter. Now we're calling in the constant variable with the use query hook. Back above the return statement, we have an object that contains the destructured fields right here from data.generalSettings. And the benefit of this is within Faust, you don't have to create the client object in your code base. It's automatically created when you first import the Faust-Core package. Instead, you can just customize it by using a plugin filter. Let's dive into how to make a custom plugin filter next with the example of pagination. Now let's go over to Visual Studio Code here. And right now I've already spun up a Faust boilerplate. And as you can see, I have the components and all the file structure needed for the boilerplate. Now, the first thing we need to do is go into the components folder at the root of the Faust project. Uh, in the components folder, I created a file called loadmorepost.js, and it's right here. And let's go ahead and take a look at this from top to bottom. Now, at the top of the file, again, we're importing the use query hook and GraphQL, and that's coming from the Apollo client. And then we are importing link from next link. So we're going to use it for the clickable links for client side routing and next. The next thing you see here is the query created with the cursor based pagination fields. After that, I have a default components function called load more post. And in this function, I'm utilizing the use query hook in Apollo to pass in my query called get post from the top of the file, as you saw. Next, I have variables that I pass in, which is the batch size I defined to be five. And after null, which tells the query to start from the beginning of the batch. Now this function gets fired off each time the user clicks the load more button. Following that, after these conditional statements, there are two variables that get set. The first one is a variable called post, and it's taking the data that Apollo gave us back and it drills down into it with the post and their nested data. The second variable is have more post, and this is the Boolean that checks if we have more posts, but if there are, there are no more posts, we'll have to execute something else. So now we can display our post with a return statement with some data drilling within the levels of nesting that comes from the query. So let's drop down here to the return statement and focus on this. Right here in the return statement, we have a 
an order list tag, and within that tag, we're mapping over posts and returning a single post with a database ID, title, and its slug. For each of those, we are displaying a list item with a list tag. This list item will have a title that has a link to the actual individual blog post page. Let me highlight for you what I just talked about right here. Now, lastly, we have this load more button right here. Let me highlight this. Now this button when clicked will load the next batch of posts from the cursor's point. In order to do this, we take our have more post boolean, and if we do have more, we will display a form with a button inside of it. When that button is clicked, we have an on submit handler that calls the fetch more function in Apollo and passes in the variable called after that grabs the current end cursor, which is a unique ID that represents the last post in the data set to grab the next five after that end cursor. Now that we've created this component in Faust for a paginated page to load post in batches of five, the next step is to create a page to test this out. Let's go over to the pages directory in the root of the project and see the pagination.js page I created. So, Going over to the pages directory, we can close this one out. There is the pagination file. In this pagination file, we're importing the component and exporting it as a default function, returning it to render on the page. Okay, now that we've done that, let's talk about custom plugin creation in Faust for the client object. Now the Apollo client can implement relay style pagination with the relay spec using merge and read functions, which means all the details of connections, edges, and page info can be abstracted away into a single reusable helper function. WP GraphQL follows the relay spec as well. Now what we need to do is create a plugin for relay style pagination in order for Faust to utilize that function from Apollo. In order to create a Faust plugin, we're going to use its apply method, which is a JavaScript class. Now the apply method has a parameter called hooks, which is passed in from at WordPress forward slash hooks. So the first step is, at the root of the project, I created a folder right here called Plugins, and it's right over here. And within this Plugins folder, I created a file called RelayStylePagination.js. Now, let's go over what's going on in the code right here. At the top of this file, we import the RelayStylePagination function from Apollo's utility library right here. Then, then we create a class component, which is the basic syntax used in a Faust plugin. Following that, we create a apply method with the hooks parameter right here. And that allows us to get an object that gives us a function called add filter. Uh, sorry, right here. And then the add filter function allows us to modify the Apollo clients in memory cache options. And we're doing that as a constant variable. Now, in the next few, few lines of code, starting on line seven, we're taking the add filter hook and calling the memory cache function options. Now, the options are coming from the Apollo client cache fin configuration. These options allow for configuring the cache's behavior to suit our use case. Now, in this video, we're defining the config for pagination. The Faust namespace then follows that. Getting into the return object here, we're spreading through our options, which is a callback function that can return the in-mem cache op options as they are. We can also merge in our own type policies that we define along with the specific queries we need to merge in the, in the future. Now, the type policies themselves, it's a class that defines a policy of your type in Apollo. Here, we're adding it to the root query option. So here's our type policies, and then we're adding it right here to the root query option, following in this line 13 right here. Now, the last few lines of code here are is where we're defining our fields of the post type. So right here, we have our fields, and we're defining that as the post type. Once those are defined, we can now use the relay spec used by WP GraphQL to tell Apollo and its spec in our pagination method to go ahead and append the previous and next lists together using cursor-based pagination by calling the relay style pagination function 
provided. Uh, just one other thing to note is I also added the content type right here to expose the content node fields uh, right here uh, in case we use something in the future for the in the site like uh, search functionality. Lastly, we need to not forget to go to our faustconfig.js file to embed it into the experimental plugins key as a value. And that looks like this. We're going to faust.config.js. And here is the experimental plugins key and value pair. Now, before we check if this works, remember that we updated our WordPress schema and our data schema. So we have to generate those possible types in Apollo. So going back to my terminal, I'm going to clear all this out and run npm run generate to generate those possible types. Great, and it has been updated. And then let's run the dev server to see how this works. So if I go back to the browser, localhost 3000, and then let me go to the pagination route. And so I've got the loading function and then it loads the post. Then if I hit load more, it's the on click handler that loads more. Great, this is working. And then once the last post have loaded, it says all posts loaded. Stoked, this works. Now the last piece I wanted to cover in this walkthrough video is using the WP template to your advantage to create components and where those GraphQL queries will live and co-locate. Out of the box, WP GraphQL does not have the ability to expose and query for previous and next post. The pagination fields plugin will allow us to modify the GraphQL schema and accomplish this. Let's go ahead and go back to WP admin just for a refresher to see how this looks like. Navigating back to WP Admin, here is the pagination fields plugin extension to extend previous and next post cursor based pagination in WP GraphQL. Let me go to graphical IDE here. Let me get rid of these here. And I have this pre-made query, querying for previous and next post fields. So let me query, uh, make a query variable via the slug. And then we're going to do the Mandalorian. So when I hit play here, it gives me the Mandalorian as the starting post. And then the previous post is a Star Wars story. The next post is Obi-Wan. Awesome, the query works. Let's go back to the front end in Faust to go ahead and render this on the browser. Now back in my Faust.js app, there's a couple of things I made in the components directory at the root of the project. So within this components folder here, I created a paginated footer.js file in, and I put that in the footer folder. And let's look at this. Now let's go over what's going on in this component. At the top of the file here, I am importing link from next link, which we're gonna use that for the client side navigation from uh, Next.js. Then I have a default function called paginated footer here that is accepting the post data as its props. Now the following is a constant variable for previous and next post, which is gonna equal post and it's destructured properties of those fields, which we are now querying and exposing from WP GraphQL. Now, now let's focus on the return statement that I have wrapped right here, uh, starting with a fragment. And this renders a footer tag. Now in this footer tag right here, I have previous post. And if the post does exist, we display that previous post title. Using next link, Right here, the user has access to a clickable link to route them to that previous post page. Now, otherwise, if we do not have a previous post, it will render null and nothing will appear. Now, after that, we have similar JSX, exact same thing, except this one, instead of previous post, it does it for the next post. 
component is now ready to be embedded into a single dash page WordPress template. So now let's talk about Faust.js WordPress templates. Let me go over to the WP templates folder. And what this does is it's, it's Faust, which provides a JavaScript version of the WordPress template hierarchy and its system. Let's utilize the system for our paginated footer component with the single.js file, which is the WP template component that renders the single post detail page. So uh, navigating here, um, I made a single.js file. And within this single.js file, let's go over really quickly what's going on in this code here, because there's about 109 lines of code, give or take, and it's a lot. <laughs> so let me make sure, there it is, okay. So the templates in Faust have three main parts, okay? They have component, query, and variable. Let's start by focusing on the query layer of the template, which is down here. There it is, component.query. In this query, I have customized it to ask for previous post and next post right here, as shown. I'm gonna highlight that, okay. Now the variables are already set for what I need. So the last thing I have to do is let's go back up to the top of the component, which is the rendering layer and adding the paginated footer, which I already did here, um, at the top as an import statement, we've got that done. Then I'm passing in the destructured post props data in the paginated footer component right down here. Remember, this is a component that I made and then I'm just passing in that post props data. St Stoked, this is finished and made. So let's go ahead and go back to terminal. Let me cut this server and then PM run generate. And then restart the dev server. Okay. Let's go to the index page here. And then let's click on any one of these posts that are showing Revenge of the Sith. Okay, we have links at the bottom with the titles of our post and we can click back and forth for the previous and next post. Awesome, damn stoked. That wraps up our video walkthrough that I wanted to show y'all for today. Uh, Faust.js and the new GraphQL client Apollo, it gives developers a better way to develop headless WordPress. I hope you have a better understanding of how to work with Apollo in Faust.js. As always, I'm super stoked to hear your feedback and any questions you might have on a headless WordPress. Hit us up in our Discord, check out the links that I'll leave in the video for you to walk through, and until next time, happy coding.